This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Alianza Minerals, Mr. Jason Weber. Jason, it's been a bit. How are you? Oh, I'm doing uh, very well, Gerardo. How are you? I am well excited for you know the end of summer, the the, the commencement of September, which I think is going to lead to a much busier um, period here in the resource space. You know, with the summer doldrums, things tend to get quiet. People are on vacation. Kids are out of school. But that doesn't mean that a lot of quality work isn't being done. And that's why I reached out. Drilling now is underway at your Klondike Copper property in Colorado. And you had some news here recently that I wanted to reach out to you about. Can you provide some context and Kind of let us know how, how how things are going there, and then let's talk about what September looks like for Alianza. A lot of uh, a lot of irons in the fire. Yeah, we we got the uh, rig on site and, and drilling underway at uh, at Klondike. It was uh, it delayed a little bit. We had uh, put out a news release uh, in July saying that crews were set to mobilize, and then uh, we got a call from the the uh, the uh, drill contractor just before the drill was supposed to head out, saying that the their previous client had asked if uh, we'd grant them one more drill hole. And being the guy who's on the other end of that phone call last year, drilling at Haldane, asking uh, the next client if we could just drill one more hole, I, I felt we had to oblige them. So a little bit of a delay. Uh, got the drill out on site. And as we're building the, the pads uh, and, and the access to the pads, we uncovered more copper mineralization on surface, which is – you know, probably not the ultimate target that we're drilling. Uh, we're drilling the source, the the fault that's bringing up the fluids that's bringing the copper uh, to surface here. But uh, just shows for for us, it just shows that these targets are robust. They're uh, they probably have some some size to them, which you know, if they carry the grade, then you can envisage an economic uh, deposit potentially there. But uh, so just to see that copper mineralization more expansive than we'd previously seen, uh, just more confidence in in uh, in the targets that we've we've chosen for drilling. So that, that was that was pretty exciting. Anytime you can set up the drill on uh, on mineralized outcrop is uh, is a good thing. And again, this project is a part of Alianza's strategic alliance with Cloudbreak Discovery. For those that may be new to the Alianza story, can you speak to that a bit and just explain that for everyone? Yeah, so it just the 30-second backstory on, on the projects is uh, we were working on our uh, Twin Canyon Gold Project in southwest uh, Colorado. And the fellow that we had, working uh with us on it who's kind of brought it to our attention had been talking about uh copper deposits in the same rocks and uh, probably a similar style of mineralization to the gold mineralization that we were seeing at twin canyon and we were interested in copper that piqued our interest but we didn't have the the breadth within alianza to really take these things on uh, narrow down the targets to ones we wanted to acquire and, and then move forward. So we brought in the guys from Cloudbreak, who we've known for a very long time. We've uh, Rob Duncan, our VP Exploration, and I had worked with with uh, Kyler Hardy and, and Rory Kutlulu uh, in the past. Great deal of respect for them and their, their technical abilities. And so we brought them in uh, on a 50-50 basis to uh, move these targets forward, stake some claims, and then together we market them and, and brought in uh, a partner, uh, Allied Copper, on uh, Klondike, which we're drilling right now, and uh, Stateline, which uh, is uh, the second of the of the projects that we acquired and, and we're able to deal out. And Stateline, we're just getting permits right now, and uh, uh, that will be the next project that uh, that gets drilling in, in this, this part of uh, Colorado. So it's a it was a way for us to leverage into some projects that we just didn't have the internal bandwidth to uh, to do all by ourselves. And with the trust that we have with the Cloudbreak group, it was a, a very easy agreement for us to write up and then and move these forward uh, under uh, the Alliance banner. 
You mentioned the bandwidth, and so what you do have a lot of internal bandwidth for are some of the 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 hundred percent owned Alianza projects that you know you have a flagship there and a few other ones. Can you speak to the rest of the portfolio and what that looks like moving forward? Yeah, and, and so you kind of hit the nail on the head there. Uh, Haldane uh, Silver Project in the uh, the Kino District in Yukon Territory is our our, our our flagship project. That's where we see the most value being generated for Allianz. Of course, we had uh, a discovery hole in uh, that we announced in early 2021 and followed that up with a number of additional high grade holes, uh, three meters of 1300 grams silver uh, and the like adjacent to the Kino, uh, Kino silver mines that at the time Alexco resources was mining. So that was our focus. That, that was where the majority of our bandwidth uh, is uh, is being taken up, and we are uh, a little bit later start to the field season uh, at Haldane this year um, uh, with a, a ground program that will start near the end of this month. We'll do some uh, mapping and trenching of some new targets, and that's setting up for a, a drill pro- program that we'd uh, we plan to do after that. We we have the luxury of of being able to drill. Right, almost right up till Christmas, uh, with road access in, into Haldane and with uh, two operating mines in the region and a number of uh, very active exploration projects. The the infrastructure in the Kino District is, is excellent, so that uh, that grants us the ability to work uh, later into the field season, even though it is uh, it, it is a you know a very far north north project. So we're lucky in that respect. Um, of course. Uh, Zuno Gerardo Hecla Mining has just uh, made a bid for Alexco Resources. Uh, that should close in early uh, September, I believe. Uh, and the exciting part for us is that brings the U.S.'s largest silver producer into the district. I think it'll really help uh, at, at the mining stage at, uh, at the Kino Mine, just getting it up to speed and, and profitable. And I think they'll spend the next sort of year uh, working towards that to get that that mine back up and running. But I, I think it's a massive shot in the arm for the district and really does sort of validate just how significant this district is. And uh, with uh, with Hecla there, I think we're going to see see a lot of changes and, and a lot of excitement uh, coming out of the district. So that's that's the, the, the main flagship project. We do also have another silver project in the Yukon uh, that you're aware of called Tim. That's a uh, an option um, venture with uh, core mining, and this project lies just north of their silver tip mine, and uh, they are uh, planning a drill program there. We're still waiting on uh, on a permit to get that going, uh, but uh, another really exciting high grade silver project that's uh, again adjacent to a a, a mining uh, camp. So. Uh, uh, that one's not 100%. Obviously, Core's uh, running that program, but still, it did take some time for us to to keep on top of what's going on there. So, again, uh, our focus uh, seems to be the silver and copper, but uh, that's uh, just kind of a fluke, by the way. Uh, good projects came across our plate, and we were, we're a bit agnostic on that, uh, it really. It's a lot of shots on goal for a company with a market cap of what? What is it right now? Maybe sub eight million Canadian, Jason. Yeah, yeah. There's not there's not a lot of love in the market right now for for early stage uh, projects, and uh, that creates a bit of an advantage one for for us in because we are focused on the earlier stages of the expiration cycle. Uh, more of those projects are available right now. So we're actually seeing a fair few projects come across our plate that are very, very interesting. And there's less competition, I think, for those. I think uh, people right now that are trying to take advantage of the soft metals market are probably looking higher up the chain for, for more advanced projects and, and competing on those. So so while it's tough times, I think it's uh, it's also creates a, a, a bit of an opportunity if you can, uh, if you can act on any of these, but uh no, it's uh, it's always a challenge. These are these are cyclical markets, and it's uh, it's really about timing your your high grade drill intersections when uh, when the market really cares when when the 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 
commodity prices are up and on the way up. And uh, that's our challenge in this business. It's a good time to be active. I think you're going to start seeing assays and results right when you want to, which typically is right around the post-Labor Day, um, everybody back in the office month of September, right? And so I'm looking forward to that. I appreciate the thorough update, Jason, and looking forward to catching up in person soon. Yeah, very much so, uh, Gerardo. And uh, hopefully we uh, travel remains uh, something that's free and easy like it's been through the summer and we can, uh, we can see each other often. Fingers crossed. Thanks again, Jason. Appreciate it. Thanks, Gerardo. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.